everybody wants to make more money. Everyone wants passive income. Everyone wants the easiest path to making money, which is possible. And if you're looking for that type of stuff or you're looking for that type of information, you need to stop watching this video. You need to go find someone else because I don't have any of that. If you want to substantially change your financial footprint in this world, your financial circumstances, stay tuned. Before you make your first million, you need to make your first dollar. I'm gonna talk about that principle and things that can help you make more money. One of the biggest problems that happens with people who are looking to increase their income is they'll look at advanced money earning techniques or advanced business models and think, I can do that, when really you can't. And this is one of the reasons that there's only one Amazon and there's only one Apple and there's only one Dell. To build these massive multi-billion dollar per month companies is such an awesome feat that many people take it for granted. Like Louis, Louis C.K. He said, everybody's miserable, but everything is wonderful. And he was talking about how we get in this tube and fly from state to state or from country to country. And when you really think about everything that goes into that, it's pretty remarkable. But because it's such a common everyday occurrence, we really don't pay any attention to it. And that's one of the things that goes into an Amazon, an Apple, an IBM, a Walmart. These companies are big, but they're also extremely exceptional. And many people are reading Sam Walton's biography, Bill Gates' biography, and they're thinking like, yeah, I can do that. First of all, you can't make your first billion before you make your first million. And you can't make your first million before you make your first 100K. And you can't make your first 100K before you make your first 10K. And you're not gonna make your first 10K before you make your first dollar. One of the things that I'm really enjoying about this recession is that people are waking up. I posted an article on my Facebook page about how founders were saying no thank you to venture capital money. And this is one of the reasons. When you have venture capital money in your business, you must act in accordance to making this business grow as fast as possible. Screw long-term consequences. We're looking for the short-term gain. We're looking for a three to five or maybe a six or seven year exit and seven years being kind of rare. Typically, these VC capitalists push a business to grow in ways that are unhealthy. And because we're bombarded with this stuff, you think that you need to grow your business extremely fast or somehow you're missing out. This is my 10th year on YouTube and we're going into my fourth or fifth business model on this channel. Growth takes time and I want to actually talk about me. When I came to YouTube, I had a solid sales education. I had a solid business education. And this is why I've been able to make more money than 90% of YouTubers because of those two things. There are some people who get lucky. They'll come on YouTube, they look good, they smell good, and they blow up. It happens, but this is atypical. I've been doing some research and I've noticed that a lot of channels that are really doing well started a long time ago. People who stuck with it and go into video marketing conferences, talk to people, bought services, they're like, okay, I can do this. I can do this and they're starting to do it. But for you, someone who's never started a business, this is my advice to you. Pick something and stick with it two to three years. Due to the internet, you can grow a business that used to take you 20, 30, and in many cases, a lifetime in 10 to 15 years. And this is why I say take your time, but start earlier. One of the most disheartening things I see and I get in the comments is someone who's 45, 50, 60, and they'll come at me like this. Hey, Glenn, what can I do? I can't spend a lot of money. I don't have a lot of time, but I do need to make about five to 10K a month. What do you have for me? And the truth of the matter is I have absolutely nothing for you people because you waited too late. 
We're moving toward a situation where many of the people in America are going to be freelancers, aka self-employed. The traditional job is going bye-bye. This is why more people get to work at home. This is why more people work under contract. They make more money, but they have a slightly different tax consequence. But say hello to the future. You need to, at some point, pick something. And I know I get a lot of people it's like, Glendon, what should I do? What should I do? Where should I put my money? Where should I put my time and attention? And if you're asking me that question, you're cheating yourself because you've done not one lick of research. Nothing. I'm almost thinking that many of y'all don't even know how to do research because it's such a common question. You need to get into research mode. Plus, you need to research a little bit, and then you need to take action. You don't need to research, 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 research. No, and that's what a lot of you are doing because you're actually avoiding doing the hard work that it takes to become successful. You gotta make that first dollar. I don't know how old many of y'all are, but once upon a time when you would walk into an establishment, you would see a picture frame with a dollar bill in it because that was the first dollar in their business. And they knew the importance of making that first dollar and growing it to that first 10 and that first 100 and that first 1,000 and that first 10,000. It's a trajectory. When I started here on YouTube, 2009, you know what I chose to charge for consulting? 25 bucks per hour. And then people were like, hey, I like that. And that's what they wanted, 25 bucks to talk to me for an hour. Then I realized that the people that I was charging 25 bucks per hour were not getting a lot of results. Then I moved it up to 50. They were getting a little bit results. Then I moved it up to 150. And I stayed there for about a year. Then I moved it up to 500. Then I moved it up to a thousand bucks. I got more people at a thousand bucks per hour than I ever did at 25, 50, 150. What happened? I made my first dollar and I spent six years going from $25 per hour to $1,000 per hour to the point it is so hard to get me into a consulting arrangement because I don't charge per hour. I charge per the job. Let's say I have a guy who has a $5 million company. He needs help with payroll, management, putting together a process. It's gonna be very differently than I would charge someone who has a $50 million company and it's look because they're looking for different things. So there cannot be a quote, a standard pricing structure because I would be cheating myself like you're cheating yourself by not doing the research and not saying, Hey, let's slow this thing down and let's make that first dollar because this is what's going to happen. And I hope you caught what I just said. It took me six years to go from 25 bucks an hour to a thousand bucks an hour. Then it took another two to where I got, we're just be, put it bluntly, most people can't afford me. And that's not to say that I'm the best of the best, it's just to say that I value myself. And if you can't afford me, I have all kinds of courses and books and all kinds of stuff for those folks. You only have so many years to make your money. I know Gary Vee and other people are just like, hey, you can do it at 50. I'm here to tell you that if you're not a healthy, very, very, very healthy 50, 52, 60, it ain't happening. I've noticed that the only reason that I've been able to go at this Monaco pace is because I have a gym and I have a treadmill and I work out most days. That is it. If I was the traditional 50 year old, 80 pounds overweight, never worked out, my energy level would be like, duh, that's a message here. You need to work out. You need to take care of yourself because you're going to need that energy to build these businesses, to talk to people. You're going to need energy to make sales. When you pitch someone, you can be like, hey, well, you know, I want you to come on and join us, man. No, you got to be like, look, Mr. Customer, this is the reason that you should employ our services because we're going to make you, you got to have energy, baby. You got to have a lot of energy and it's going to take a tremendous amount of energy to get your business off of the ground. This is why you're seeing that a lot of these kids who are really smart is like, hey, I need to start this at 16. I need to start this at 18. What should one do? One should get started. Because the thing is, I'm going to get into how I do YouTube probably in a few months because I got to get these courses together. But 
it's going to be radically different than how anyone else does YouTube because I've talked to people. I know people in the industry. I know a lot of people with YouTube channels. I know what they make. And it is shocking how many people haven't figured this out. So if you want to make money, you should move your services. And I'm, I'm going to give you some nuances here because this is the thing. People will say the same thing with no regard to where a person is. If you're out in the country, manual labor, tree cutting down trees, selling wood, hey, yeah, that still works. Knocking on doors. People in the country will still open up the door for a stranger. Not so much in the city and not in my neighborhood. But if you're in the city, you need to be creating whatever presence you can online with an insane amount of quickness. This is where it is. This is where it's going. I want you to look up this guy's name, Dr. Andrew McAfee, MIT. He and his partner have been looking at the eradication that of jobs that tech and automation has been doing long before Trump got in office. And he was scared when he did his 60 minute interview. He's like, I don't know. I am telling you that you may not want to start a business. I get that. But the way that we're going, you're going to have to be self-employed. So you have a choice. You can be self-employed of your own initiative, or you could be forced in self-employment, which could not be so tasty because this is where we're going. And so many people have the wrong mindset. I saw a video that was talking about people were getting scammed. And I'm going to say this as delicately as I can. You don't have a well-rounded financial education. You don't have the ability to judge if someone is scamming you. And I'll give you some examples. Someone that was getting scammed was, that's what they put on there, from someone that I worked with. I didn't get scammed. I spent the same money as this other person did, and I got killer results. Whereas this other person wanted a refund, went online, trashed this person's name. So what's the difference? I actually have a work ethic. So a lot of these people, you're just like, I got scammed. They don't want to do the work. They want to pay a large sum of money and have it automated. But this is the thing. If I had a system where you could pay me 100K and you could make millions, why would I sell that? It makes no sense. This is why the best copywriters, this is why the best creators, you can't hire them because they're doing such a good job doing their thing, using what they know how to make money, that for you to hire them on a long-term basis, you're going to have to give up half. You're going to have to become a partner with this person and not one of those, when we make money, you get half. No, you're going to have to start giving us some money from jump. Part of the landscape, and this is why I'm so glad this recession is here, is that many people have false sense of success, a false sense of the timelines that it takes to make money, and a false sense of their abilities. I knew, you know, if I was one of these people that when I wrote my book and it was making all that money, I could have been seduced into, it's going to be like this forever, man. I knew. I just knew it wasn't going to be forever. And like I said, it went on longer than I thought it did. But this is what happens when you have experience. I said it on this channel. I said it on my Facebook page. I said Nancy Pelosi was going to run circles around Donald Trump. Trump's a businessman. Trump is a businessman in the arena of real estate and development. He don't know nothing about manufacturing. He don't know nothing about clothing. He don't know. He knows a little bit. He knows a lot about branding. And he knows absolutely nothing about how Washington is run and the political acumen that Nancy Pelosi has. He don't have it. And many people are like, you know, he's a businessman. Because you're good in one area of business doesn't mean you're going to be good in every area of business. That's why we have different kind of attorneys. You have divorce attorneys, you have business attorneys, you have tax attorneys, because there's so much to learn about each area. There's just no way that one person can be good in all of them. It's just impossible because there's too much to learn. And this is one of the big reasons that I think so many people got sucked up into the Trump vacuum. They didn't have the acuity to understand what they were buying. I'm paused for a minute there for a reason. Many people buy things and they don't know what they're buying because 
It's not a smart thing. It's a seasoning thing. It's a perspective thing. Like I said, and I put up there, I've been through, this is my fourth recession. I've worded all of them quite handily. And the last one, I thrived. And this one, I intend to thrive as well. What's the difference between me and you? Experience. You may be smarter than me. You may be younger than me. You may be good, more good looking than me. But you don't have more experience than me. And we've seen it time and time again. The people with the most experience consistently win. That's why all these hedge fund managers are 70, 80 years old. That's why all of these multi-billionaires are old because they have experience. This is just the simple facts. So to get your first dollar, you gotta have some experience. Now what I'm getting ready to do, cause I'm gonna finish up your basic financial education course this week. It's gonna be finished up. Then next week, we're going to get into investing yourself, which is going to be very expansive. And we're going to touch on some of these questions. What should I do? And I've been thinking about that. And I've thought a lot about that. What should you do? Too many people are following the follower. I posted on my Facebook page, this girl, she's built a brand. You know what she did? She took a picture of herself wearing vintage 1960s clothes every day for a year. She's here in Georgia. She has $224,000, 224, well, I guess she could have that too, but she has 224,000 followers. And you know, if you look at it, you're like, okay, this is just a chick taking picture in old clothes. No, she crafted this theme. There are pictures of her in 2018 posed up next to older Cadillacs, older cars. You can't, you can't, you can't tell that this girl isn't in the sixties. She's carefully planned this montage of her appearance and she may have to do it another year, but after that, she's gonna start making money. More than likely, she's already making money from photo shoes, model shoes, because uh, the, the 60 brand is very big right now. Old clothes are very big, vintage is very big. So she could just be a model and make six figures and she's 22 because she simply took the time to post pictures of herself every day for a year, which in theory sounds very simple, but if you're gonna have a plan and you're gonna have a theme, it can becomes very complicated. And I'm quite sure she's taken a lot of these pictures over and over again, because they didn't have the like, right look, the right taste, the right theme. This is something you can do. Once again, I've made it no secret. For six months, I worked on my business full time and I lived off savings. And I keep saying this and I'm gonna keep saying this because people for some reason feel that those who are successful, those who can experience delayed gratification are somehow blessed some way or someone gave them some money. Most of the people who are very successful usually have earned it, most. That's just facts, All right? So I got some stuff for you. If you want to get on your path of apprenticeship, go below pick out a few courses, go through the courses five to 10 times, because each time you listen to them, you're going to learn something new because it only takes your cell phone chiming or a notification for you to lose focus and you lose, you may miss something important. So be sure to go through each course five to 10 times. And for those of you who want your basic financial education, it's 75 bucks, the price is going up very soon. Go ahead and get that and then when we get into investing yourself that 75 bucks will come off because it's going to be the same thing it's going to be four or five tiers and the first tier is going to be invest you know the basic financial education because depending upon where people's money is where they come in and then i'm going to start getting into investing yourself and i'm going to talk about the things that i did to invest in myself and some of them may be real strange to you so many people are looking for quick easy, simple solutions to complex problems. Here's the deal. The more complex the problem is, usually the more complex the solution is. That's what's been my situation. I went from living in a house with no bathroom. Seriously, I remember when they put the indoor plumbing in to a house with five bathrooms. It was a very complicated transition from poverty to middle class to upper middle class to rich. If you were to do the study of wealth and transitioning class and making money, 
you would be more impressed with what I just told you. But if you just hating, it's like, eh, I don't mean that. <laughs> Whatever, dude. But it is so hard to move from class to class. And this is what we're going to do. You got to get that basic financial education to give you a firm foundation so you can start making money, building businesses, and living your best life. Lil, Lil Javal, he's living his best life. All right, so once again, first two links, first two comments below. Go ahead and get what you need, and then prepare yourself for invest with yourself, invest in yourself, because when you invest in yourself, you make yourself more valuable. And when you make yourself more valuable, that's when you get more money. If you're not earning the money that you want to earn right now, more than likely, you're not as valuable as you think. I know that's harsh, but look at the reality because there's nothing that I can say on this YouTube channel that's going to be worse and more harsh than what life will do to you on a daily basis. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.